Hello, welcome to another devlog. It's been a long time, but this time I thought we'd do something a little bit different because I've uh, finished making a game, a little game called A Thimble Full of Panic, and um, it's out now. It's available on Itch.io, and you can find a link in the description. It's a free download. Uh, I'd be really excited if you checked it out. Uh, I just thought I'd play through a little bit to show you and uh, talk a little bit about making it, I guess. A little bit about the game, a little bit about making it. So here we are. This is uh, Thimbleful of Panic. It's a little world, uh, first person uh, exploration, semi-random game. Uh, you can walk around the these spaces and... Um, come across these holes which you can fall down to find another pretty similar space with uh, some objects in it a cube here some text and as we go down you'll find new spaces new objects new text the text will change and the uh, the objects will change and you can just keep exploring it's it's quite linear. I mean, there's one space, and then you go to the next space, and you go to the next space, but um, I hope it's a nice kind of experience playing through and exploring. Um, I've made this game relatively quickly in the last month and a half, although it took a lot longer than I expected. Um, the reason that I made it was that I was working on the, the big game, you know, the big project that all these other devlogs are about. And uh, as time went by, it just became increasingly daunting and scary how much I had to do, how little I knew, and uh, how long this thing was going to take. So I thought I'd uh, find a smaller project, a little idea that I could uh, complete relatively quickly, just to get something done and, and finished. And this is the result. It's it's simple, but I'm really pleased to have to have done something, and uh, I think it's a nice experience to play. I I hope it is. Um. So yeah, I started out making it just as kind of a proof of concept. I had a pretty complete idea of almost exactly this of what it would be like. Um. And it's not so different. Uh, my initial idea is not so different from how it turned out. Uh, but I made a little uh, proof of concept with one little level, one little space, which is the one that you, you first appear in in the game. And uh, then I wrote the, the code for falling down these holes and uh, creating new spaces randomly, putting objects in them, Realized that the thing would work, and despite being a terrible coder, I could probably put it together. And then, like, pretty instantly wrote all of the music for it. Um, music that you can hear is all sort of a cappella, a cappella with lots of weird effects and things on it. Um, and there are a whole bunch of different tracks which um, you hear sort of variously mixed together as you play through, and it's like. It's sort of a, um, a simplified version or a precursor to the the like the more complicated musical system that I want in in the the other game that I'm making. Um, a good proof of concept. It was uh, a little tricky to get everything to sync up, but basically the the music sort of mixes as you as you move around the world um, and changes as you descend, but blends. From, from one thing into another. Um, incidentally, there's also... Um, you can't hear... Oh, sorry. You can't hear so much with, uh, with the music up high, but there are walking sounds and falling sounds, all of which I recorded around my flat. So these are the very creaky floorboard sounds that we have in our flat. And that's me jumping up and down in our flat. Um, let's put some music back up. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I wrote all the music for the game and then started working on all of the different objects that you can see in it and building the different levels and that's kind of where everything slowed down and I realized oh, this isn't going to take me like the week and a half I, I initially thought, two weeks to be fair. Um, and instead it's taken me about a month and a half to complete. Um, but nevertheless, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with it, and, uh, I think it's, uh, a neat little thing that you can, can explore and fiddle around in, and, uh, I hope people enjoy it, really. Um, it's a little rough around the edges, it's not without its, its problems, but... That's, uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, like I said, there's a link in the description where you can go and download this game totally for free. It's a PC game. Uh, and I would make me really happy if you checked it out and had a go. Uh, I think I'll sign off there. Thank you very much. Goodbye.